Typhoid fever is a potentially life-threatening illness caused by the bacterium Salmonella typhi. In the United States, about 400 cases occur each year, and 75% of these are acquired while traveling internationally. Typhoid fever is still common in the developing world, where it affects about 21.5 million persons each year and causes numerous deaths. Although there are not many cases of the disease in the United States, it is one of many microbial pathogens that pose a potential risk of emergence. Salmonella typhi lives only in humans and is not known to infect other animals. Persons with typhoid fever carry the bacteria in their bloodstream and intestinal tract. In addition, a small number of persons, called carriers, recover from typhoid fever but continue to carry the bacteria. Both ill persons and carriers shed salmonella typhi in their feces. Once salmonella typhi bacteria are eaten or drunk, they multiply and spread into the bloodstream. The body reacts with fever and other signs and symptoms. Persons with typhoid fever usually have a sustained fever of as high as 103 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. They may also feel weak or have stomach pains, headache, or loss of appetite. In some cases, patients have a rash of flat, rose-colored spots. The only way to know for sure if an illness is typhoid fever is to have samples of the stool or blood tested for the presence of salmonella typhi. Even if one symptom seemed to go away, that person may still be carrying salmonella typhi. If so, the illness could return, or they could pass the disease on to other people. In fact, if one works at a job where they handle food or care for small children, they may be barred legally from going back to work until a doctor has determined that they no longer carry the bacteria. These are just a few things to know about Salmonella typhi and typhoid fever. To learn more about infectious environmental disease testing services and prevention measures, or other indoor and outdoor environmental concerns, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.